three. Welcome to Mission San Jose. From the early 1500s until the mid 1800s, the missions were the primary means by which the Spanish taught both Catholicism, Catholicism and the Spanish lifestyles to Native Americans, Indians. In that time, Spanish culture and religion was an inspirable combination. By advancing these causes in the Americans, the missionary priest hoped to Christianize the natives and the government hoped to gain new loyal subjects. Old centuries, the first people of the San Francisco Bay Area lived in harmony with nature. Their social, political, economic, and religious traditions provided a context for relations with one another in the land. When the Spanish came, this balanced life came to an end. The Spanish arrived. The Spanish arrived in 1769, bringing the sword and the cross to Alta California. They believed in the superiority of Spanish culture and the Catholic religion and were convinced the Indians would believe benefit by being, by being remade in a Spanish mold. Led by devout Franciscan missionaries, the missions became the heart of this effort. Mission was a self-sustaining village. It was occupied by local natives, a few soldiers, several artisans with families, and one or two priests. According to Spanish law, the mission's land and resources belonged to the natives and who would be put into control when they had learned to manage themselves in, Span in the Spanish way. The plan worked to varying degrees as the empire spread. Junipero Serra, and he lived in 1713 to 1784. He was founder of the California Missions. This is another example of a person buried near the Mission Church. She was 10 years old, and she died May 8, 1882. This is a newer cemetery built by the Catholic Diocese nearby the mission. 